Welcome to the show where tattoos meets badass eats and boozy drinks. I'm your host, Daniel Verhagen. To all my friends, family, and foes, because we all know they're watching, welcome to Tatted in the Kitchen. How are we doing today, folks? It is a warm day on the West Coast. Therefore, you know what we're doing? We're making a summer spritzer today. We've got our muddler. We're gonna muddle some stuff. This is a very fruity drink, a summer spritzer should be. We've got our garnishes right here. And we're gonna be doing with the only alcohol in this drink actually, which is just simple rosé. Found this at the BC Liquor Store. I'm a whore for branding. Thought this was super cute. Pink poodle. Why not? Caught my eye. Let's go with it. So, we got a fun glass here. Again, this is a summer spritzer, so we want to do a summery drink. Got a wide bottom here. We've got the garnishes that we're gonna muddle up. So we're gonna do two strawberry slices. I just cut open one strawberry. Cutting it into two just, you know, helps it kind of spread it around, especially when we're muddling. We've got an orange slice. I cut open an orange. I'm using the center of the orange. That is why it looks a little gross, but this is one orange. Uh, it's fine for muddling. I wouldn't use this as a presentation. Uh, for a garnish, but we're gonna muddle it. So we're gonna toss that in there like I just did. We're gonna toss in also one mint leaf or a few. Uh, you could do one or a few. I'm just seeing now I did a few mint leaves in my cookbook, but, um, or in the Tata in the Kitchen cookbook, but we're just gonna do one. Let's toss that in there. We're gonna muddle that up. We're gonna use the aggressive side as I said previously, just because we're dealing with an orange slice. And you can do this. I'm gonna do this on the counter for a second and then I'll show you what that looks like. Since so it just looks like a bunch of mashed up fruit, which is fine, it's what you want. And all we're doing when we're muddling it, we're just releasing a lot of the juices from the fruit and the, uh, and the mint leaves, or the mint leaf in this case. And we're just mixing it up, we're muddling it, right? We're gonna mash it up a little bit, not to the point where it's like a mortar and pestle, but we are going to, uh, we're gonna mix it up nicely. There we go, there you have it. Almost looks like a kind of a pureed mess a little bit. Anyways, that's muddled up. What we're doing now, we're gonna do half a cup of rosé. And I'm gonna grab a measuring, I didn't realize I closed, didn't close that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Where is my measuring cup? Let's try, I found it. And a bag. <laughs> Here is my measuring cup. So, we are gonna do half a cup. Glug, 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 glug. Half a cup rosé. There you have it. You pour that in over top of the muddled fruit and mint leaf. And then we're gonna add half a cup of sparkling water, which is right here. Add that in, super simple. Nice thing about a spritzer is, I got a little fizzy. So the nice thing about a spritzer is you can actually, uh, you can scale up this recipe and do a full pitcher if you're having a gathering or if you're just planning on day drinking into the evening and you know, we've all had those days. Anyways, so then after that, after the the, uh, the rosé and, uh, and the sparkling water, you've got your strawberry juice, fruit punch, whatever you'd like to use. Just an ounce of that, throw that in. That's all right, and we're gonna take a spoon and mix it up. Super simple. Do, 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 do. All right, so you can garnish with an orange wedge or an orange peel or uh, or lemon peel as well. So we've got this orange, can garnish that. There you go, it's a little aggressive, that's fine. And we are gonna take a strawberry. We're gonna cut that in half as well. I slid it down the middle with the uh, with the stem kind of keeping it together, which is nice for the rim. And this orange, it is a little bit of a rough cut. So what I might do to garnish it, I'm actually just gonna throw it in and kind of let it top off the orange. I'm not gonna spritz it because we already have the orange that we muddled in there, but I am gonna top it with the strawberry and make it look presentable. And then the other garnish we have is a little celery. We're gonna throw that in there as well. It's not necessarily a Caesar, which normally you would see celery in as a garnish, but we are gonna do a celery for the summer spritzer. Again, scale this recipe up if you'd like. Uh, it's great in a pitcher. Makes a lot of sense to, uh, to serve a lot of guests and it's super easy, it's just rosé. 
And the nice part is we have a full bottle of rosé left. So again, that's great if you want to use up some rosé, make a pitcher for a bunch of friends. Again, um, it's great, it's a summery drink. Anyways, cheers, we're gonna try this. Bottoms up. Mm. What's nice is in this, um, in this drink, you're getting a little bit of the pulp of the, uh, the fruits that you muddled which is super great. It's honestly, I would say, um, yeah. So it's just a great beverage. It's a great summery beverage. Personally, I would I would navigate towards the sex in the driveway for a um, for a summery beverage. That's also in the cookbook. I'll also be covering that in my, uh, my recipe videos, uh, which you can go online. And if it's not released on YouTube yet, go ahead and purchase it online. It's for a nominal fee and you get the recipe and you own it. So do that. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that's a link in the description as well for, uh, for my cookbook if you'd like to purchase that as well. All right, cheers, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.